This is quite an astounding study, a generous study. Now keep in mind, I'm always a little sensitive when it comes to studies in reference to children. But however, the results were so astounding and so simple that basically you really have no choice but to bring to your attention. Again, I want to reiterate, this is not a medical advice channel. Always work with your medical professional. But still, I want to bring this to you. Now, the study itself is called Vitamin D3 Nano Emulsion Significantly Improves Core Symptoms in Children with Autism, a clinical trial. Let's bring up the next chart. Now, what happened was here, the researchers were trying to figure out why there were so many mixed results coming out in regard to vitamin D consumption. So they said, hey, let's improve the absorption of vitamin D since a lot of children with autism and spectrum disorder tend to have digestive issues which can uh, impede uh, the absorption of certain nutrients. Henceforth, the exploration. We're not talking a patent. We're not talking a product. We're just talking about a simple processing method to enhance the absorption of vitamin D for children. Henceforth, now look at the results if you haven't preceded me. You see the absorption. You see the reduction in autism severity. The improved social skills, the enhanced language development, that is, again, pretty miraculous. Again, looking at 80 children, randomly divided, uh, two groups, one taking a standard vitamin D, one taking the nano emulsion. Going over six months, and the dosage was about 1,400 IUs, and the age range was between three and six. All right, let's look at chart number two. A little bit more technical, and I simplified the charts a little bit, but this one here is more technical. Look at that autism severity score. That pretty much brings it home. Again, uh, you can see the absorption between the standard and the, the nano emulsion, just the same, it's amazing. But let's get right into the study as follows. 80 children between the ages of three and six were diagnosed autism spectrum disorder. We're randomly assigned to two groups, one receiving the vitamin D3 nano emulsion, which we'll get into in a second, and the other receiving a standard marketed vitamin D3 product, both for a duration of six months. Their vitamin D3 levels, adaptive behaviors, language abilities were assessed before and after supplementation using standardized tools, such as the Childhood Autism Rating Scale, CARS, Vineland Adaptive Behavior Scale, the Preschool Language Scale, and only the nano emulsion group showed statistically significant improvements in the vitamin D3 levels, autism severity, social IQ, and both receptive and expressive language performance over the duration of six months. The conventional supplement, despite rising the vitamin blood, the vitamin D3 levels in the blood, did not lead to meaningful improvements in behavioral outcomes. So I don't want to get into confounding or publisher bias, but however, though, there's something there. You see what I mean? All right, let's go into the backstory. Children with autism spectrum disorder manifest altered metabolism of the gut vitamins when stool analysis is performed, suggesting different metabolism attributed to the lack of absorption, excess need, or different metabolic pathways. The influence of vitamin D3 supplementation on adaptive performance in children with ASD has revealed inconsistent results. To reiterate, this could be attributed to the nature of vitamin D3, which has certain requirements for absorption, henceforth, the methodology in creating the nano emulsion. All right, here we go. Look at it real fast. Towards the top, which I didn't highlight, you notice they tried different things like almond oil, pumpkin, olive, and wheat germ oil, but they eventually again settled on olive oil for the best results. So not too complicated per se. Now I know this is gonna be a little complicated looking, but let's look at the graphic. It's there. Again, we're not talking a patent. We're not talking a prescription drug. We're just talking a bunch of researchers saying, hey, let's find a better way to get this absorbed. And henceforth, there we have it. All right, to proceed, I want to show you a few of the charts. And let's get this in order. All right, let's get rid of that. Unlocking the potential in ASD. All right, you see the storage? You see the active form. I'm not going to get into that, but your kidneys play a huge role. All right, the autism severity, which we covered earlier, just regrafted in a different way. The social intelligence scores, you see that? Again, that's why I felt the necessity to bring this to your attention. All right, as well, 
losing track. Receptive language age, expressive language age, total language age, still improvements in all. That has got to be a huge help to an untold number of children. All right, now let's go to a conclusion. The supplementation of children with autism using the prepared vitamin D3, D3 loaded nano emulsion has led to a reduction in severity of autism and a rise in the social IQ, especially fine motor performance and language abilities in children with ASD without adverse effects. On the, now keep in mind, the research when looked at this as well, they were looking at studies as high as 5,000 IUs and they said, no, we want to stay away from dosages that high for children between three and six. On the contrary, the market of product of vitamin D3 did not show any significant reduction in severity of ASD or a rise in social or language abilities despite the elevation of its blood level. Again, it makes you wonder. But however, though, there's their outcome. We, quoting, emphasize that the D3-loaded nanoemulsion provided an effective and true influence on the adaptive behavior and language abilities of children with ASD, not only on the rise of the vitamin D3 levels, not only on the rise of the vitamin D3 levels in the blood. All right, brief look at the explanations. I has brought down, if you see some of these uh, ways they're referred to, it, it breaks it down a little bit as far as helping understand what those charts may mean. So I'll leave that for a second. And did a lot more charts too, but I decided to stick with these. So if you see like page one of two or page one of three, I had to condense. Otherwise it'd be a very long segment. Again, gratitude to the researchers, mainly because this is free research. They're doing it on their own, not looking for a patent, not doing it for a manufacturer, product or drug company. They just said, hey, let's do this and see what happens. That's pretty amazing. Again, gratitude to the researchers, I am humble you watch and look forward to both you and I discover next week. Again, this is what children and children need electric guidance. I'm always very sensitive when it comes to that. So please, please inquire with the medical professional. Again, gratitude. Thank you. And I look forward to seeing what you and I both discover next week. Also to a caveat, there could be confounding involved as well, for example, olive oil and other elements to it. So again, it may be vitamin D3, even though the blood levels were elevated in both, there could be a little trick or catalyst in there somewhere in the formula, which is yet to be discovered. So future research will as well, will need to be conducted to elucidate these current incredible findings. Gratitude, catch you all next time. See you then.